Hi, this is Linda with Be Made With Love, and today I'm working on a piece in my studio, which happens to be my living room right now, and uh, I just wanted to let you know about this new product that I'm using. I am working with a walnut, um, and, it, and there are um, some veneers on here, but some of it's solid walnut, some of it is wood with veneer on top, but it's a vintage uh, radio cabinet, which are so cute as drinks bars or um, holding your um, toiletries in the bathroom or um, I've also seen uh, people use them for their quilts. Um, I've also used one in my bathroom to hold my um, soaps and my facial things and then sometimes nightgowns in the bottom. It's just an extra little place. It, they're a lot of times really small, cute, maybe two foot by, by three foot. Um, with some legs on them, um, making them even taller to help out in the bathroom. So they're great pieces, but I wanted to refinish this um, radio cabinet. It's gutted. I'm making new shelves for it, but I'm working on the outside. And as I'm working on it, I'm discovering that there are some big grain pores in this. And what I've already done, and, and I'm going to flip this around in a second and show you, um, but I might have to maneuver, so I might have to turn this off for a minute. Um, hold on. In the piece I'm working on, um, I've already put on some um, slick stick. Um, actually, no, it was uh, boss. So it was to cover, to make sure there wasn't any bleed. And I can tell this piece is going to bleed through because it's even uh, on the lighter areas where I've been putting the boss um, from Dixie Bell, I've had some bleed through, so I'm gonna have to put another layer. But if you can see, I don't know if you can see these grains, let me try and move some things around. So you could probably get a better look. Um, yeah, you can see there are some grainings where it looks like just giant pores. Don't pay attention to these um, <laughs> bits of um, dried, uh, boss on there because those will sand off. But um, I wanted to show you what I'm doing with the areas that I want to fill the pores. So I'm trying a new product. This is another Dixie Bell product and it is Dixie Bell Mud. Now this I'm doing in brown. It happens to be what I have. I know that I'm painting the cabinet a light color, but I'm actually going to be painting the whole thing black. So it doesn't matter, um, you know, which one I use on top. And this is what I had, the light um, boss and then the brown mud. And I've already done this on the front. It's just drying right now. But I wanted to show you how to apply boss. So once you open it, you do have to refrigerate it. You can buy Dixie Bell spreaders. This is just a plastic spreader that... Um, you want to dip in or get some mud on and you're going to go against the grain so that the pores or the, the holes uh, where the grain is will fill up. So I want you to go ahead and um, just watch as I apply some of this and let's see where you can see it. So I'm going to go across very lightly. Notice I'm scraping. I may get some white lines in there and that's because as the mud builds up and I apply it it's going to be drying out and on the very end of your scraper those little nodules will pull against what you're putting in there and in this case because I'm applying such a thin coat just to fill what's going into these pores I don't have to worry about these lines in fact if I worry were worried about them I would go ahead and take a spray bottle and just moisten this again to reactivate and go ahead and smooth those out. But when I come through with my um, sandpaper afterwards, I'll be able to, to smooth this out. But what the good news is, is that it's filling the pores. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this process and I'll show you my results. So fingers crossed, this is the first time I'm using Dixie Bell Mud. 
um, to fill the pores and I'm excited to see the results. I hope I can, after I do a light sanding, I can paint this black and it will be smooth, 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 which is what I'm looking for. Okay, so I wanted to let you know that I am absolutely thrilled with the Dixie Belle mud. Um, I used it on the sides, as you can see. Um, I was able to fill in all the pores from the wood. It's so smooth. Um, I'll show you the inside. I'm still waiting for my color to come in and I'm going to paint on the inside. Um, normally I have them when I start, but um, this time I um, changed my mind halfway through the project on how it was gonna look. So I still went ahead and painted, used the mud in white that I had gotten to paint on the inside because there were big, deep pores on here and I didn't wanna just paint it and have the paint collect and have the open pores. So you can see it's kind of like a sparkle compound. I gently sanded on it. Some places I didn't need it. Um, I'm just waiting like up here. I'm just uh, painted it a light color because the inside is going to be a light color and I wanted to make sure that I had a stain block. So I um, used the mud to sparkle on. Then I put a light coat of um, Dixie Bell Boss stain blocker on here. Um, kind of went hog wild with it, did it all these places. You can see I had some issues with um, getting a, a good consistency right here. Uh, so I went ahead and put the mud on and then I smoothed it down. So that'll be all covered up when I paint it. But you can see the outside is a beautiful smooth black finish. Um, of course, I'm going to be putting a wax on top of it when I'm done, and I'll post what I've, what the final product is. You can see all the, the pores are gone from the top, and again, I'm going to put a, um, a finish coat on top, and that'll take care of any of these imperfections that you may be seeing. And here she is looking beautiful with Dixie Belle mud underneath. I definitely will use this product again. Stay tuned for photos on how she looks when she's completed. Thanks for watching.